All right, friends, so I asked you to find a cardboard box. Miss Cunningham um, already cut mine up because I didn't want to show you how big it was because it really doesn't matter how big your box is. You just need to cut it up into um, four pieces, okay? You need two long, skinny rectangles, and you need two rectangles or squares um, of any sorts of size, okay? So that's what you need. If you need to pause the video now, please pause the video and go find your supplies. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is a marker or a pencil and some scissors. So um, on your first cardboard, you're going to maybe draw about three sections, so two lines, sectioning out into three. This is going to be our first um, set of buildings, okay? And then your next one... Um, just portion them out. You don't want too many. You don't want them to be really skinny. Like I don't want to, I don't want to make too many lines. Like this is, this is going to be way too many buildings. Okay. So just put maybe two or three lines, um, on each large section. We don't need to do anything with this right now. Now each large section is going to represent one building. So I'm going to cut the buildings to, um, create roofs. Okay, so that one, this first building is going to have a roof that kind of looks like that. The second building I'm just going to leave like this. The third building I'm going to cut a little bit lower like it's a shorter building. So to do that, I just cut that like that. Okay, so I just made that building a little bit shorter. And then the last building, make it rounded. Okay, so now I have four distinct buildings. Let me go to my next one. My next one, I'm gonna make a pointed one. This one, I'm gonna cut a little bit shorter. And then maybe I'll just leave that one like that. So this one, now I have three distinct buildings. Okay. Let's get started on drawing our buildings. Jacob Lawrence lived in Harlem. And do you remember in the video or the book that was a video, what was the place that they said Jacob Lawrence spent a lot of time at when he was a child? It was called Utopia. So this building right here is going to be called Utopia. Pretty much what we're doing now, friends, is we're just creating our city. However you want your city to look, you create your buildings to look like a cityscape. Okay? Um, if you've ever been to New York City, we know that the buildings have a lot of windows. There's usually a lot of people that live inside the buildings. So all these buildings represent homes I'm gonna make a front door on this one so my front door is gonna be If you've been to New York City, you know that the steps go down to the street. Okay, and my last building will have, um, I'm going to make each building have a ledge where their windows are. So that's the window ledge and here's the window.
All right, my first set of buildings are complete. Let's go on to my second set of buildings. This building, this um, building is gonna have big columns next to the door. Sometimes in New York City, you see these big columns next to the door. Harlem's not really in like the city city. It's a different city in New York, but I'm sure they still have these big columns because it's an old, old city. Fourth and fifth graders, you should be really taking your time trying to create a very um, creative city. We shouldn't just be, okay, done. No, we need to be taking our time um, creating a city with meaningful um, design and careful creativity. I'm not going to be online to... Um, to color but you guys um will see my finished product when you log on to art i'll show it to you no two cities are alike in a large city I mean, no two buildings are alike in a large city. You'll see many, many um, different types of buildings when you go to the city. What about if I did one that had like a fire escape? That'd be cool. So when you go to a city, the window actually um, goes out to the fire escape. So these are windows. And then there's like a big um, ledge that you can stand on to get away from the fire if there's a fire. And there's gates around it or like a, almost like a fence around it so you won't fall out. And then you just climb down the fire escape to get out of the fire. Okay, so now my city is all drawn and it's time to portion them together. So they're going to kind of sit like this. So remember those two small um, rectangles? What we're going to do is we're going to cut a section out of the cardboard. And you only need it big enough for your other piece of cardboard to slide into. So like this. I cut a slit here and I cut a little section out and I'm just sliding that in there. Okay. I'm gonna cut a section here. I'm gonna cut a little section out it doesn't have to be super thick. In fact, the thinner it is, the better. I'm going to cut a little section out. And then I'm going to slide it into one another. So it'll fit like this. Oops, I did that wrong way. So it'll fit like this. Okay. So it'll sit just like this. And then the second city, you do the same thing. 
Okay, so I'm gonna cut, I'm just cutting, you can really cut anywhere, but I'm cutting um, in between my buildings. You don't have to do it like that. And I'm gonna cut a little section out back here. Don't forget to color them first before you assemble them. Cut that section out and cut this section out. And then we can put our second set of buildings in just like this. So your cityscape should sit like this and from the front, it's going to look like this. So you can see Utopia in the back. You can see the front part of my building um, with the back part just barely showing. So the front part looks like this. When it's sitting on the desk, it looks like this and the back should look like this. Okay. Don't forget to color it. 